Welcome back, guys, to more Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, we're going to our ship right now. I think we're about to lift off into a new planet. So uh, I'm excited. Hope you guys are too. Drop a like. Let's get into it. The tram system kind of reminds me of Dead Space a bit. I never played the other Mass Effects, I don't know if it was in those, but I don't know, it gives me a Dead Space vibe. So we're going to the docking bay. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. I didn't do it! Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? 
I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Oh, he's happy about it. He is fucking pumped. Level three, nice. I wonder if we have any skill points. Holy fuck! Plus three, I'm gonna get a skill. I can't open it bridge right ready. now. Oh, there we go. Um, skills, guys, I think I might do some combat, considering we're about to be in combat. Um, let's see. This is a grenade, a barricade. We have pistols, assault rifles. Let's increase uh, some accuracy or damage. Already have damage. Let's do accuracy. Then how much do we have now? Two points. That's good. Uh, so now that we got that, we should go to tech because I haven't gotten any tech yet. Overload unleashes an electro. Ooh, discharge upon a target. Oh. They damage shields and synthetic enemies. Detonates combo primers. Pretty nice. You know, I will say the skill tree is really well done, I think, in this game. Anyways, that's it. Let's keep going. Let's get out of here. We ready? The Pathfinder, ready. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. You know, we could probably talk to a bunch of people right now and just say what's up, but I'm going to go ahead and get to the planet because I'm Our feeling is an some action. Dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Pause like that. Check this toy. Liam, what's up? I'm not talking to you right now, bro. I don't want to. Uh, I'm such a dick. Anyways, trying to find the way out. I think it That's was the bio lab. We right can here. We plants for food and oxygen. Keep any specimens safe. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. All right, still learning the ropes. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized. For a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I am ready. I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. I think we're ready, guys. We got this. Keep dreaming of home. We're to the Nexus Bext. Oh, I gotta say the right thing. Let's go with the keep dreaming of a home. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Oh shit! So what is this? This is the I guess the map. Videos, then. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. All right. Well, this is our main objective in EOS, so I guess that's what we're doing. System, Pythias. 
Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1, designated EOS. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. So I guess we're scanning the planet for resources? Interesting. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. I don't know if I should keep scanning this, or just uh, get out of here. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we've scanned it. We should be able to land now. Okay. An anomaly has been detected. It's right here. Let's do it, guys. All right. So we get to customize our loadout for this mission. Pretty nice. I think I just have the default weapons as of now. I do have another pistol that I want to equip. Um, which is the Charger one, which I'm pretty sure is a lot better than the first one. Um, I still really want to customize new armor. I wish we had the Pathfinder armor, considering we're the Pathfinder now. But it seems like we only have the default armor first. I do have the blueprints for it, though. I'm just not sure how to craft it. Uh, this looks all good. This is the stuff we're going to have. Uh, oh, I got to choose what I want. Disruptor ammo. Incendiary ammo. Shield capacitors. I might need that. And then incendiary ammo is good. So, I think we are good for that. Squad up. Cora and Liam. Can I change? I can actually change. Oh, I want Vetra. Hell yeah. Vetra. Let's go. Vetra and Cora. Okay, guys. I think we're good. Let's do this. Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all that ready. Callow. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this, right? Hell. There. Sit us down at this nav point.
That facial expression, though. All right, we've arrived. My helmet just appeared out of nowhere. That is fucking realistic. What are we even supposed to do here? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, okay. no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7. Moving! I didn't mean to click that. Wouldn't last in these conditions. This analysis provides How us with important know? research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect now. this data, we'll we can make utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. Ooh. Awesome. So I guess we're heading in this little shelter. This is really cool, though. Look at the pretty desert new planet, guys. This should be fun. Where'd my team go? Guys? Why are they just sitting back here? Did I? I know I ordered them to stay there. Wait. I didn't order. Okay. Can I? Can you guys come? Can you guys just follow, please? What the, what the hell was that? What the fuck? What are they doing? What are you doing? What the fuck kind of shit is this? Bioware? You bastards? What the fuck is going on with these two? Okay, looks like they took a break. I think they're done. Alright. You guys good? You need a second? Alright, we'll give them a second guys. They need a moment. Oh, there she goes again. Fuck those two. Jesus Christ. Should have brought Liam along. God damn it. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Just... Alright, that's pretty nice. Uh, we need codes for these. I don't know how to get them to follow me. I clicked, uh, stand right there, and I thought they'd keep following you. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'm on my own. I guess I'm on my own. So we gotta find codes to open that door. But it doesn't seem like... There's anywhere that I can go besides there. So, I'm a bit confused. Unless it's in this area right here. Yeah, it is. It's in this building. Oh, why are they just standing there? I love the jump pack. It's so pretty. All right, let's see. Completely by ourselves here. See if we can find something. Something useful. Here we go. Oh, hey! Good, glad you guys could spawn in randomly. Appreciate it. Got a code lock key. Handy. It'll get us in. Terminal. Looks like we've got an audio log. We suffered our first death today. our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Alright. So, I'm not finding any influential shit right now. Just a uh, audio log. What are they doing, man? Why aren't their helmets on? Shouldn't, shouldn't her helmet be on? I, I feel like you can't breathe without a helmet here. Somehow she's making it work. Oh, Cora, what are we gonna do with you? So it doesn't seem like there's any codes in here. Maybe it was in that audio log, I just didn't fucking realize it. Let's go back. See if we can do this now. For fuck's sake, mate. Alright, nice. We are in. Some sort of lab facility. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthingale, I was on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face. 
space for the rest of the team, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. It looks like I picked up some new armor. I want to see if I can change my armor on the fly. That might be a thing. Could be an inventory here. Let's see. We got a new chest piece. I want to see how, if it's any better. Okay, plus 2% encounter XP increase. The same thing. It's literally the same exact armor. Wonderful. Thanks for getting my hopes up, Mass Effect. Appreciate it. Alright, guys. We're gonna keep moving through here. Hopefully not encounter too many fucking issues. Because we've encountered like 20 in this freaking episode. But this planet is really cool. I can't wait to uh, explore more of it. Especially with the Nomad. Which I'm excited for. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos' atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Okay, guys. Well, this is where I'm going to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry about the kind of weird setup with it. First it was dialogue, then a little bit of gameplay. When we come back next time, I promise it's going to be much more exploration of this brand new world. Anyways, love you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.